All right, so right now we are cruising through this game. Welcome back to more Guardians of the Galaxy. My surprise game of the year. As far as, like, I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. You know, the overall story, the amount of effort they put into it, um, the voice acting, the animations, the lip sync is actually, like, spot on perfect. The combat's fun. There's stuff you can earn. There's no microtransaction. It's a great story, too. So, uh... Overall, I got nothing but positive things to say about it. If you guys want the rest of the series quickly, just destroy that like button. Love you all. And let's get this. All right, we got two conversations. One, oh, there's Gamora down there. Let's go talk to her really quick. It's cool she's down here just like practicing her sword swinging, you know? Uh, that's a, Wait, sometimes, sometimes you interact with this and group shows up. I'm just going to test it out. According to this, the collector reported Groot stolen 14 years ago. Oh, hey, Rocket, Groot, sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut, Quill? I am Groot. Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 guys. Groot, I didn't mean to invade your space. Seriously, I would never do that. I was just curious about this report thingy I found. <laughs> Yeah, the report thingy that just so happens to bring up a lot of painful memories for Groot. Real smooth, Quill. I am Groot. It's not fine. The Collector kept you in a frickin' cage like some... some kind of animal. As if it weren't bad enough you lost your entire planet. I am Groot. Fine. Groot says he'll answer your stupid questions. Uh, I'm just gonna just go to each one, I think. How'd you end up with the Collector in the first place? How do you think? He stole Groot. I am Groot. Fine, you tell it. I am Groot. He says the Collector found him at the start of the war, in the wreckage of his planet. Holy crap. But just a piece, a splinter. The rest got destroyed like everyone else. Just a splinter? Does this mean you can't die? <laughs> I am Groot. He can still die, but he ain't gonna, cause I ain't gonna let him. <laughs> I'll replant you a million times if I gotta. So, how'd the Collector find you? I am Groot. A drone found him, dormant in space. Guess old Tivin scours the galaxy for new specimens. I am Groot. Slavery ain't the same as saving. I am Groot. He insists the Collector saved him by planting him, and also keeping him in a DAS cage until I stole him, hence the stupid Flarkin report. Is it still active, the report? Will the Collector come collecting? You see any gold domes around lately? Fair enough. All right, I like these dialogues because they kind of add to like the overall backstory and how each character is doing. You know, here we go. What happened to your home world? You never told me that. What did he say? He says the Shatari blew it up with a an experimental doomsday device. Holy crap! That's awful. Ain't the worst part, Quill. Groot says after Planet X was blown up, the other branch worlds mobilized. But they weren't no match for the Shatari and also got destroyed. I am Groot. As far as he knows, he's the last of his kind. Oh, Groot. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if Earth was destroyed, if I was the last human. I am Groot. He says it's not so bad. He's got us. I know we don't talk a lot, Groot, for... You know, obvious reasons. <laughs> but I can't imagine this team without you. I can't change the past, but I can't commit to making the future better. I am... He says he knows, and he's grateful. Pretty cool. It's weird that you interact with something and then somebody shows up. What about this one? Let's put it down and see what happens. Groot. Sorry, man. 
Guess I should be more respectful of your personal space. Always because I'm interacting with this stuff. I am Groot. Okay, we've already done this dialogue. Well, I'll let you get back to your plants and stuff. So there's like a new item here and there. You interact, you get this. Okay, you get a certain dialogue. Let's talk to her. That's kind of why I came down here, anyways. What? Hey, Gamora. Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, 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 who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat? Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am, am the warrior. warrior. I well, am I am the warrior. the warrior. And heart to heart, you <laughs> win. <laughs> <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Yo, know, that's, that's crazy. We can actually, uh, we broke through it. Here we go. Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise. Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? Alright. Pretty much talked to... Uh, everyone. There is something in... Hold on. In my room... Here we go. Can't wait for Star Pants to see what I do to the weapon system. Ooh, it's hang on. gonna be great, right, Musclehead? Dialogue? Yeah. Let's go. Hey. Is that... Corral's Galactic War Commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until... No one could have predicted that Corral was dead. Or that Nikki would be the matriarch. Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and Mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh, I've become my dad. Do you want to practice on me, answering her questions? Absent father... Corel never told me about Nikki. She had a chance to tell me three years ago, and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. I can't promise that. I love judging people. Fine. Corel maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12 year old girl. Yeah, I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. It's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid, Yondu did. I told him it was wrong that we had to give her back, and he disagreed. So I stole the Milano, and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Uh huh. Look. After the Galactic War ended, Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. He must have been pissed. Yep. But I'd do it all over again. What gets me is that Corel had plenty of chances to tell me about Nikki, and she didn't. If I had known, maybe... The important thing is that you know now. Yeah. I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. What was I supposed to say? 
Hey kid, I hooked up with your mom. I might be your dad. Maybe not that. I mean, it was war. I was with the Ravagers hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival. Especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost on the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. It was so close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so... badass. Her forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Corel I remember. I tried to convince Yondu to stay and help retake the outpost, but he saw no profit in dying, so I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. We thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No. We didn't. And now... Now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. <sighs> anyway, until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger fish to fry. This stuff can wait. True. But when you are ready to talk about it... Just be honest with her. The rest will fall into place. Yeah. You're probably right. Alright, I think I'm good on dialogue for now. Um... I feel like if I interact with anything else, it's gonna be a long conversation. I didn't want to get too wound up. I did want to use my ability points. The problem is... Uh, I couldn't use it earlier. Hold on, let me... He's out here now, let's One see. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this Flarkin cult ever again. Shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking Space at? Space Llama's chilling. Oh no, you ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship. Shoo, flark off. Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. All right. I think we're at a part where... Go ahead, so... I've already talked to Groot, like, twice now. Anything yet? I don't want to overdo it. Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Piotr Quill. Cosmo's bow has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Net. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. These are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, 
I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you are as imbecilic as they are. You will not elude me. That I can assure you. I just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Why? Where are you going? Did you mute me? I have Hmm. What? I have I don't know. You keep repeating this same meaningless phrase. So, Lethal Legion. Cool merc name. I used to run with the Ravagers myself. We are far superior to you and your Ravagers, Terran scum. The Lethal Legion is composed of the best warriors the universe has ever seen. And to me. Hey, look. I get it. You're the best of the best. You're the captain of a super elite team. I'm the captain of a... elite team. Some of us are super elite. You are nothing like me. I am Glabry of the Kree Empire. My birthright alone supersedes any sense of worth you foolishly believe you possess. Spoken like a true Kree. <laughs> More like an arrogant a-hole. Enough! I will not be disrespected. You will be eliminated. Give it your best shot, Helmet Head. The Milano's gonna blow you out of the sky. <laughs> your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower. Scan again. Possible. Just a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine zone. Looks like you underestimated us. That actually paid off. It says Rocket's uh, Contraband helped out. Defeat Captain Glory. Oh my, this is gonna be so it's sick. Hard and give no quarter. There's nothing on that garbage scow we're salvaging. Uh, hold on. We're taking fire! <laughs> Feel free to show off, Will. They insulted my baby. Yes. This is really cool. Feel free to show off as you die. Jeez, how much money did she offer these guys? More than that Ravager heap's worth, thief. There we go. Drop out and get a better angle if it gets too hot. Or feel free to point the guns right at him and charge. Kind of like, just dodge them, but it ain't working. Hold on. Can't we just send an IOU to Lady H? There we go. I that psycho a single unit. We'll actually go that far. Hold on. Hey, let's get it. There's an art to this rocket. We're artists. It feels kind of good to have bounty hunters after us. It means we're making a name for ourselves, right? Not sure how much we get out of taking down crap and crap hole and leaving a crap. Kind of makes you a little dizzy sometimes. Only one lethal lane brain left. Down. One is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Reminds me that Colony was it Col no, it's Colony Wars. Wars. Excuse me, I can't speak. The game on PlayStation I used to play. Still you. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. So you defeated my fighters, but my cruiser will crush you. Oh no. Yeah, I'm getting Colony Wars vibes right now. What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's oh. I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked. Then do something about it. We go past him. Lady Skull shoot us the worst block in timing! Is she here? Nuster Goons! This time! I don't think it actually goes that far. Hold on. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Oh, it does. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Ooh, look at that dodge, baby. You're bad, Guardians. Nope, 
Not a thing. Milano definitely felt it. Just keeps going back and forth, back and forth. Starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. A good chunk of them anyway. Keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. Moron. Protect our points. This guy's starting to sound like Rocket. It's called language efficiency, quote. I gotta admit, I did not expect this. Definitely one of the higher points of the game for me because the combat is so nice in this. Oh, where are we going? care if the galaxy's under sea. You know, contractors. Ah, ha, 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 ha. He's really pissing me off. Almost got it. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Take that, Lady Skull Scut. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it. girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open a channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. I am Groot. Had to leave. Power supplies are yellow. Need access to facilities. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. Need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Hi, Groot. <laughs> I am grouped. Bud, but now we can all follow along with Star Pants' mistakes. How, How may we assist you? Uh, please talk to. Uh, join the corpse. Mm. Well, pick something already. All right, guys. I think I have an idea what you should do here, right? Criminal offenses. We gotta find out to reach them, right? Crime in progress. Uh, let me check that one. No, it's not that. I think it's the one where you can turn yourself in. I'm gonna try that really quick. Um, future crime. Can't do that one. Okay, so it's gotta be past crime then. I'm assuming that's what we gotta do. Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? No. Let's do it. Thank you for attempting to be an outstanding citizen. As, As all prisons are being evacuated, you may self-sequester wherever you wish. Hang on. I'm just gonna try these other ones. Connected to banking services. I did it. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's. Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass, a mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it has, has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts. Worlds and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3, 
75.222% of the Andromeda galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mine is collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. I'm gonna share it. Look, we just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The, the point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We, we have, have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking, undertaking a search a protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Ain't you seen what your planet looks like? Zandarian culture. Uh, is where are you going to go? Culture. culture is more than a location. Why not? And yet, after the Shatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system, knowing it wasn't safe. Where would you even go? Please understand. That we are not able to disclose information of this nature to untrustworthy parties. Untrustworthy, my tail. And how long are you gonna hide from the church, huh? A millennia? Bolenia? As long as it takes. And if you try to come back, you'll be completely outnumbered. Zandarian culture will be preserved, but it'll never be safe again. Point, Point taken. Nevertheless, we must leave. Why? For unknown reasons, the church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If, if the power source, source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That, that is why they fail. Ha! Drax, he's as dumb as a stick and he ain't failed so far. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Corps? It... it is not magical. magical. But, but yes. yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are, are the Nova Force. Force. It exists because we exist. And we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the church does. Perhaps. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did we not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are pleased 
You reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <laughs>